Yo, what's up, man? Listen to me. Listen, I got something very serious to talk to you about. This dude right here, legendary. Legendary. This is my boy Alex. It's about to get real dangerous right now. Driving, part two. Now look, Dangerous Driving part one uh, came out and it was successful enough and now we got Dangerous Driving part two. Yeah. So, first question is, what did you learn from part one in the development of that? And what can we expect now with Dangerous Driving Part 2? The first thing I learned was don't come to PAX on your own. <laughs> right? Don't come to PAX on your own. Or your own fence. For four days because that's just too much. Fence. So, because it's a zoo, right? It's like being in a nightclub all day. Uh, and it just gives you a big headache. What did we learn? Well, it was great to come and see the fans, get the first game out. And then we worked on it, supported it for six months, put in online play, did some fixes. And then for the new one, we thought, well, we're going to come to PAX again and do the world premiere, so here we are. And we just figured, let's bring it back, let's build on it, let's make it a better game, a bigger game, let's fix all the things that we weren't happy with, let's have online day one, let's throw in split screen, so we're throwing that yes. in today, right? So two player battle split screen, we're hoping to get four players split screen in. And we're just here at PAX for like first look, right? This is the first scene. Yeah. Let the fans play it first. And then we're gonna go on tour through the year. Because the game's not coming out until holiday. Gotcha. So we're gonna go to London, we're gonna go to Cologne, we're gonna go to Seattle, we're gonna go everywhere. Now, you told me that this is also a game that's coming out for next generation, yeah. right? So with the next generation, what's something that the fans can look forward to that the PS5 and the Xbox Series X will provide y'all in terms of power to give the game more impact when it comes out later this year? It'll be a next generation experience, and I guess that's all I can say. See, I'm sure y'all, I was He's trying saying. to pull it out. He's I was trying, trying to pull it out. Oh, okay, okay. I got, I got another one for you. I got another one for you. So they announced that there will be 8K support with these new systems. So is, would, it, would it be saying that like Dangerous Driving will have the opportunity to utilize like 8K textures to make everything more, like, more crisp and, and have more clarity in the graphics? Is that something you can say? Or Highly unlikely. Okay, all right. I would cool, say. Cool, cool, cool. Highly all right. unlikely. All right. I, I could be wrong. Okay. I would say maybe highly unlikely. Who knows? Okay. All right. Who I, knows? I, I can't. I certainly can't talk about anything that may or may not be happening later on in the year. Okay, I had to throw yeah. that out to you. So now, one thing I love about this game is that it's open world. Yeah. It's crazy. So, with a game like this being open world, like, how, like from a gameplay development standpoint, how do you manage that? And the reason why I say that is because... With great difficulty. Yo, because, yeah, it's like mad challenging. Well, in a good way, in a fun way, but it's challenging, though. In terms of what? Well... It's an open world, it's a 400 square kilometer open world. We're the only indie team, I think, ever doing a 3D open world very quickly. Um, because all these other big teams here, they have thousands and thousands of people making games for five years. Um, so it's our first open world and a small team. The roads, we're really happy with the rise and fall of the roads are looking okay. good. I've been driving the world now for about three months and uh, there's some great roads in there. You're going to have a lot of fun driving it. Okay. We're just showing a very small, like 90 seconds here yeah. on the coastal area of the world. But um, I think players are going to have a lot of fun driving it. Now, this game, there's better defamation. Uh, de yeah, better you defamation. Bet. You know what I'm saying? So now, can you explain how like uh, the impact of, of, of the crashes and, and the way things are going to look and be and feel this time around as opposed to the first game? Well, last time, it was a bit more simplistic in terms of the defamation. It's just time, right? With yeah. a lot more time and a lot more money, you can spend time doing everything. But Paul has been uh, working on the defamation system of the car. How the doors come off, everything. We spend a lot of time looking at crashes, both in movies and TV shows, and then looking at what's happening on the game, what's happening on the screen, because you kind of know when it can go wrong. Um, yeah, it's going to be a lot better than it was last time, and like I said, everything builds, right? So particles are better, explosions are going to be better. I can't the way wait. the tires look is better, the wheels are better, so uh, everything's an upgrade. Yeah, you know it's time for you to get the belt. I got some belt. major questions I'm about belt. to give you right now, so you got to hold the belt. You gotta hold the belt when it comes to the major questions. I got it. I got it. <laughs> I love it. I Yo, it. Alex, this is my brother right here. So, first major question, right? Now, when it comes to Dangerous Driving 2, right? 
Now, everybody that's it's ever like played... It's like carrying a small child. Yo, yo it is heavy. It, it is it's heavy. heavy. So the, think about it. The combination with the chain in the belt, yeah. I got to work out. Big, so, yeah. now, we all, now, we all know anybody that's ever been a fan of Burnout and stuff like that, you need to like really love this man right here. So, Burnout, great game. Now, we got Dangerous Driving 2. I, I've always wanted this in Dangerous Driving from playing the first one. Yeah. Will we have, like, what type of level of customization we can, can expect to have? Okay, so yes, time please let me know. A million colors for the car. Uh, you can change uh, You can change the colors. You can change uh, the rims. So it's a million colors for the bodywork and a million colors for the uh, rims. I'll tell you something. I'll give you, I'll give you exclusive. Yes, let's go. I'll give you exclusive, right? Something that we're going to show is something in this game. You're going to be able to pick your victory music and you're going to pick like your intro music, right? And then on the starting grid, we're doing this thing, we call it the grid roast, right? The grid roast is on the starting grid, we're going to call out the players and then the other people can roast you. So on the grid, you're going to say, here I am, Hip Hop Gamer, and here's my car. And then the other people can either cheer you, or they can jeer you. They can give you the thumbs up, they can give you the thumbs down, or they can throw things at you. Oh. Get the, yo, I'm done. I'm done. Are you that's what we're gonna do. Nobody ever did so, that before. That's, so that's crazy. Gonna be, that, that's going to be a cool feature, right? We're still working on it because wow. the battle starts on the line, right? Oh, that's crazy. Just like the, the fighters, right? Yeah, they're yeah, going yeah, in yeah. the ring. They're coming with the theme music. Yeah. So you're going to be able to have your theme music play. Yeah. And then again, so every time you take somebody down, you can play your victory music, right? So we'll know it's you. And then hopefully. We haven't finished it, so hey, yeah. might happen, might not, but again, we have this working where, again, here we go, Hip Hop Gamer, everyone's either going to go, yeah, big up, or they're going to go, no, you suck, and they're going to throw stuff in your car, or like this, a brick yo, or a chair I love or whatever. It. Yo, you make, you, like, this game is going to create so many viral moments online, it's ridiculous. Like, you're either going to be well loved. Or you're gonna be mean. Or you, yeah, yeah. Just this like, just like the boxers, right? Because yep. the same thing. They enter the ring. Here's where I am. The crowd's going wild. You got the rivalry. Because in that crazy. game, it's like fighting, right? It's not motorsports. Yeah, absolutely. It's about battling. As you know, it's about competition, head to head. Who's gonna be the winner? Who's gonna be the loser? Yeah. So we wanna, we wanna accentuate that a bit. Alright, so and that, now that's gonna be fun. Gonna be so fun. now, major question, right? Nintendo Switch. You bet. I still don't believe you, like, but. It's real. Like, Never. how did y'all get this on a switch like that fast? Like, you, you, like y'all need to understand something. Eight weeks. Yeah, I, we only got the we only got the machine really uh, just after Christmas. Yeah. Just after Christmas. Yeah. They got this game up and running on a Nintendo Switch like that. Like, and keep in mind, it's a small team, but they got it up on a switch like that. That is extremely is, impressive. We're showing that for the first look today. Gotcha. On switch. And, and how was uh, it on a switch? Is there certain features on the Switch, uh, whether touchscreen or using the Joy-Cons? Is there anything that's different from the from the uh, PlayStation version, the Xbox version that you're doing with the Nintendo Switch that you can sh share with the audience? Not yet. So we're, it's really early. We're just we're just really starting on it. We're just okay. showing like that first look. So in terms of what we'll do, how we're going to use the controller. We haven't figured it all out yet. Okay, just been trying to get it running. It was like PAX was the deadline for us. We just thought, what are we going to show? Are we going to show on PC? Are we going to show on Xbox? So we thought, let's go for Switch. So Ben Smith, our programmer, he just took that on as a challenge. He did a phenomenal job. There's a lot of headaches along the way. You know, game development's never easy. Yeah, People don't know what goes on in the background. Look, I can imagine, it and I've learned a lot. But so he pulled yeah. it off. And we came with, you know, we have two Switch machines with us here, and uh, we just came to show the fans first. They can see the game running on the handheld. It's a first look. It's not complete. Many games here are finished. It's not showing, like, games early when they're busted and they don't work and things yeah. are crazy. We got a little race running. People had a look. First look. We just want to spread the word so people know it's coming. Yep. And then, uh, you know, for Switch, we're throwing that into the mix and uh, be on the Switch this holiday. So, two more questions. Our next question, major. Major. One thing I don't see that I hope we do see is a huge line. Is yeah, that too. Yeah. But motorcycles. 
Well, y'all have motorcycles in the game. You smile. You smile a little yes. bit. You smile, smile a little bit. I so, always smile when it's a no. So, no, 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 no. Like, come on, man. I'm kind of like, so, yeah, it'd yeah, be dope yeah, no. if we saw different vehicles besides cars. Would, wouldn't it? I'm trying, you can come over and do it. I'm trying, y'all. Uh, we are going to do crazy. bikes. What's going to happen? If you're on a bike and you're in a car, and I fall off of each other and run me over. It's yeah, look like Death Race 2000. But it could be motor, but it could be like motorcycles only, like for, like a mold. We have motorcycles only. Could be. That'd be a good DLC. You know, what think, 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 think about this. What's one of the games that we're missing in our industry that hasn't come back that everybody loved growing up with? Road Rash. That was one of the games that we loved back in the day. That don't yeah. exist no more. So imagine a game like this, but it had. I, 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 I was going to say Jet Set Willy myself, but you probably wouldn't have heard of that. Oh, no, no, no. Jet, Jet I know Set Jet. Willy, which is not a euphemism, it's actually a very famous old uh, platform game in the UK. Got you. Yo, yeah. this is crazy, man. And for, the, and for the final question, and I always like to uh, have something like personal so the fans can engage you, but what's, um, what's a moment in your life personally? when you probably felt like you was at your lowest but you found strength in that moment that allowed you to be successful today probably a few hours earlier coming in here for the <laughs> second day um, yesterday when I woke up at like 2 30 and thought oh my god how am I gonna do it um, I would say uh, many years ago I think it was in 2006 I worked on a racing game and a first-person shooting game back to back so oh, wow. I think that was the fourth burnout racing game. We finished that, so I went, we worked really hard on that, and then that team like got a break, and I went straight into finishing a first person shooter I was directing called Black. And that had to Hold finish, on! That had to Hold finish on, on. Finish on Christmas, right? Black is what you was directing? Yeah, yeah. Yo, that's one of my favorite games. Which Yo, play on the black, yes, black. I remember that game. That game so, yeah, was we, ahead of its time. We had to it finish that. Old. We had to finish that over over Christmas holiday, and that was that was hard. So that was when I would say that was a low point. But it was like going from one finishing one game to then finishing another one, and it being Christmas. Yeah, we were working. That was pretty tough. Wow. But, I would say PAX is far harder. <laughs> yeah, game development's hard. PAX, well, PAX, is, PAX harder. is harder. Yeah, you, Yo, see this, you ever see crazy. this Iron Man and all that stuff? Or World's Strongest Man? It's nothing. No, it's, it's not nothing. compared to PAX. It's nothing on PAX. Right? Alex, I love you, man. God you, man. bless you, man. You? When, when can they expect Dangerous Driver 2 to come out? Coming out in a holiday this year, whatever that means. Uh, holiday this year, 2020. Is it 2020? Holiday 2020. 2020 Let's go, baby. Oh, you're hot. Nah, seven days. Every day, that's my word. Dangerous driving. Two, baby. And we out of here. What?